Good morning family, hope you're all doing well. So it is Saturday morning and we've got a pretty packed day. So right now Liv actually has a birthday party this morning so I need to get her ready. This is like the earliest she's ever had a party before and it's actually only her invited because I feel now the kids have moved from reception to year one Parties are getting more selective. I guess people have decided who their close buddies are. This one's a little different because she's only picked the girls in the class. Sam is still sleeping because he had a pretty rough commute home, rough night. So I want him just to get some rest and have a lie in. So I'm going to get the kids ready. Well, they're already up because they decided to wake up at like half six this morning. I was like, why? Why, guys? I was just in the middle of my quiet time. And I've slipped into my gym gear just in the hope that I can get a workout done while Liv is at the party. It's kind of funny, when she was in reception year, I stayed at every party for the whole two hours and pretty much that's what all the parents did. But now they're in year one, I've kind of just noticed now a lot of the parents look around and then they're like, Peace out, I will see you in two hours. So Sam will be home alone with the boys. I really just appreciate his help. It's like a real tag team we've got going on here, which I love. So that means later on we can get ready and head out for our family day events. So let me get these kids ready. My name is My name is Olivia Taiwo. Olivia Taiwo. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am strong. I am strong. I am confident. I am confident. I am bold. I am bold. I love myself. I love myself. I love my hair. I love my hair. What else do you love? I love my mummy and daddy and my family. That's so cute. We love you too. Is there anything you love about yourself? Uh, I love you? the way God made me. I love the way God made you. I love that. Tick tock, the clock is ticking. I don't know what I should do, and I wish you would be right here with me. My mind is filled with pictures of a way. You excited yeah. for the party? Yeah. I'm gonna With, make a pizza. You're gonna make a pizza. Good job, right? We're here. And you go. So a really fun party. As we're walking down the road, Olivia, I think she got a bit excited with all her friends and they all just started racing with each other. And Liv had a little accident. She fell over, didn't you, sweetheart? Yeah. And she's cut her leg. And you've got your hand as well. Oh. Sorry, Jane. <laughs> make it clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling, you're a big girl. It doesn't hurt so. Sorry, sweetheart. Daddy to the rescue. Thanks, baby. Hey, so I am looking a little bit different. Did my makeup. This is actually car makeup because we're all heading out. And I've got a full car. It's hubby does. Hey, baby. Hey. And the kids are in the back. And we are going out to a pumpkin Liz! patch. Yes, Caleb. Nigerians at the pumpkin patch. And Sam is really excited, aren't you, love? <laughs> he was like, what are we doing? What is a pumpkin patch? I do actually want to do a poll. How many of you guys do like pumpkin patches every October? Let me know. My 
do a poll up here. And then if there's time afterwards, I'm hoping to be able to make it to an event, which is organized by one of my really good friends. She started this kind of, I guess like an organization in the UK for Nigeria from the diaspora. And it really just encourages us to maintain our culture basically and encourage our kids to still speak the language and really just, and us as well, because even though Sam and I were born in Nigeria, it's clear we don't embrace our culture as much as I wish we did. That's the plan for today. And I'm really loving this makeup I did. I did it in the car. Guys, this is actually car makeup. What do you think, baby? Smoking. I, I love the T-zones, love. I wish that was <laughs> The T-zones. That's where it's at. The it's highlight the and secret. the contour. It's the secret. Bam. And Livy, how are you feeling? How's your leg? Yes. Feels better? Does it hurt anymore? Only a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Dad, You're such a brave girl. Such a, such a brave girl. So proud of you. The fun thing is I also do you still want to go out because of your legs now hurt? And she's like, no, no, I still want to go out. I still want to go out. Bless her. But kind of just, I guess, show you the reality of life with kids. I don't want it always to look like, oh, it's hunky-dory, everything's so easy. Because it's not, and I do get that comment a lot. Oh my gosh, baby, I know you make it look so easy with three kids. Um, this is just obviously an example of what could happen. And that obviously was quite traumatic and um, upsetting for her and even for us as well. But um, yeah, it's reality of kids. Accidents do happen. Also with this little man. <laughs> So I'm quite a rare one for Olivia, but um, yeah, it does happen. But yeah, we're excited now because we are heading off to the pumpkin patch. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Where are we, baby? We're Tower in Bridge. Sorry. We're in London, yes. From Essex to London. <laughs> Guys, those kids who were just on the bicycle were vlogging at the same time. <laughs> Sam, see, everyone's a vlogger. Sam, Sam doesn't get it. <laughs> Still trying to understand the concept of why, why his wife is holding a camera in front of his face. Yes, get that thing out of my face. <laughs> we are back in the car, got our pumpkins, and we had such a good time. Do you guys have fun at the pumpkin patch? <laughs> and now we are heading to London. In fact, we're pretty much in London now. Heading to my friend's event called Culture Tree. She even has like a YouTube channel as well. And basically the whole idea is just to encourage us as Nigerians in the diaspora just to not forget our culture, basically. I think she covers all Africans in the diaspora, but obviously with a focus on Nigerians because she is Nigerian. Love. What happens to speaking your about to the kids? Oh, well, we speak all the time. Yeah. They're fluent. Yeah. Thanks, Princess. <laughs> Boom. Well, I would like to do a poll. Mm. How many of you who are, you know, have a second language speak that at home to your little ones or even speak that amongst yourselves? Um, I would really love to know because obviously I'm not that good with our Yoruba language. Sam is very good and I really would wish he spoke a lot more to the kids in Yoruba, but he does do it. You do, right? Sometimes, yeah. We're okay. getting there. We're getting we are there. getting there. It's kind of, it's weird though. It's, you just kind of forget. I think you just forget. Yeah, because you're trying to communicate something quickly, and I think I get a bit lazy and just go to English. Mm. You say, Daddy, I can do it myself now. Okay, go on. You have a go. Go on, have a go, Princess. Daddy, Ejo, Afumi, Lumi. What does that mean? 
Oh, okay, no Daddy, other go. The egg jar. Air for me. Awa is we are. Ninu is in. And motto is car. Okay, so we are in the car. Awa, Ninu, motto. Wa, Ninu, motto. Olivia, go and have a go. Awa, Ninu. Good! Together, both of you! Awa! Ninu! 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 Moto! Centre. Like me and Vivian have been friends. I feel like we just followed each other when we started your YouTube channel. And it's grown and she's developed a whole centre in London. And tell us a bit about this centre. So, Culture Tree Centre is a cultural um, educational centre in the heart of Little Lagos, Peckham, um, and the whole idea of uh, which is that people come here and learn the language and mother tongue. So, we have Yoruba classes, Igbo classes, Hausa, Swahili, you name it. So, we're starting with Yoruba and Igbo, but we plan to expand. For what ages? From 12 months to adults. So we have like preschools, we have like up and my needs to be in this class. And you need to come for evening classes. <laughs> come on, let's go back. I really need to learn. You guys know I need to learn. Yeah, so I'll pull and um, maybe details down below about Culture Tree, which is about keeping our roots alive. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in a bit. We're just gonna check out the centre and I'll show you a bit around. Bye! Thanks, Billy. Yeah, be on my sex. 